In 1969, his frontline combat career came to an abrupt end when the LVT-5 amphibious armored fighting vehicle he was in struck a mine as it traveled on a highway near his marine base. The vehicle became engulfed in flames. Carlos courageously went about rescuing several fellow marines from the inferno. Carlos suffered severe burns to his body as he did so. In a critical state, he was medevaced by helicopter to a nearby hospital ship. And once his condition had stabilized, he was flown back to America for specialist treatment. He received the Purple Heart Medal for being wounded in action that day. But it was not until 30 years later that his bravery was recognized, and he was awarded the Silver Star for his gallantry. He also became an instructor to various police departments and U.S. Special Forces, teaching the finer points of sniping to a new generation of sharpshooters. But by 1975, he was starting to be in poor health, as he had been diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Sadly, the multiple sclerosis would eventually claim his life in 1999. He was just 56 at the time of his death.